Hey, how's it going? I'm Juan Acosta with the staircase where I tell it to you in black and white so you can step up to the top. You may be asking why am I playing with this contact juggling ball? And I want to tell you because you see, when I do this, it may seem like it's floating, right? But we all know that it's just our perception. There's actually a pretty heavy ball and it just kind of rolls over you. So I want to talk to you today about that perception, about what we believe sometimes to be true that maybe isn't. And in one of my last posts, I talked about gassy thoughts, a concept that helps you compartmentalize your thoughts so you can decide whether they were worth having or not. And that's a great concept, but I got a little bit of feedback about, well, yeah, that's great. I know that I have to change my thoughts. That's perfect. But how do I actually go about doing that? So I've been developing this concept of the three pillars of change for shifting your thoughts into, into more positive, more productive thoughts, more conducive to the lifestyle that you want to live. And if you are not familiar with the gassy thoughts concept, please go back and watch that video. You don't have to do it now. You can do it at the end. But this will tie in with that same video. So watch them both. The process of the three pillars of change has three steps, obviously. One of them is dilution. The next one is diffusion. And the next one is direction. And I'm going to dissect each one of those separately. But um, before I do that, I want to I wanna talk to you about our perception, how our perception creates our reality, right? Because what is true for me may not be true for you. We might be looking at exactly the same house and we might see, I might be able to see a beautiful property that has just the right amount of light while you go in and you say, well, it's uncomfortable because this place is small. And we are seeing the same thing, having a different perception of it, which creates our reality. And the first step in this uh, three pillars of change is delusion, is understanding that our reality is really just our perception of reality. It's just the way we see things, we represent things, we understand things. We are being deluded into believing our reality. Anytime that we allow ourselves to have a negative thought, we are, allow ourselves to delude our mind into believing something that we're not. For example, when you say, my life is never going to be better, we are really just trying to negotiate with our mind, make our mind believe that our life is never going to change. So we are allowing ourselves to get deluded by thoughts that are really just not useful. <clears throat> so in that process of delusion, it helps when you ask yourself a question, um, and the question is, is there proof? So, will, oh, my life will never change, or I'm stupid, or whatever that is, whatever that negative thought is that is not productive for yourself. You can ask, is there proof of that? Because when you ask, is there proof, you either get one or you get the other answer, right? You get, yes, there is proof, in which case, okay, that thought has a foundation. Let's follow it and see where it takes us. And if the answer is no, there is no proof, then okay, let's suspend that thought for just a moment. Let's put that thought aside and then take it through the rest of the process and decide later whether it was worth having and allowing it to influence us and to, uh, you know, to keep us sort of limited if it, if it does uh, or not. So once we figure out is there proof, no, there's no proof, then we can take that thought into the next step, which is the process of diffusion. And it simply refers back to the idea that if we have a thought, oh, I'm so stupid, we are so emotionally involved with that thought that we are fused with it. We are one, we become one. We, we feel bad, our physiology changes, our emotions change. So the idea is to defuse ourselves, to defuse ourselves from those thoughts. And one thing that I've found that is helpful is to ask myself the question, <clears throat> how does this thought serve me? Does this thought get me closer to my goals and values or does it get me further away? So the question is, how does this thought serve me? So let's take back the same example. My life is never going to be better. Okay, is there proof of that? Well, no, I've had a better life before, so who's to say that, you can't ha that I can't have it again, right? So no, there's no proof. Okay, so how does that thought really serve me? Does that thought get me any closer to my goals or does it get me further? When you think about it, if you know that our thoughts create our feelings, our feelings create our actions, and our actions create our results, then by doing this we are sort of attacking this problem at the root at the thought level so does the thought serve me you can think well if i have a negative thought i'm going to get 
negative feelings, which is going to give me negative actions, which is going to give me right negative results. So does the thought serve me? No, it doesn't. You know, when I think badly about myself, when I say this stuff to myself, that is getting me further away from my goals because it's taking my confidence away, you know, lowering my self-esteem, whatever it is that it does negatively for you. So does this thought serve me? If it does serve you, perfect, fantastic. Let's keep it in that direction or let's, or let's have it join the rest of the thoughts that take you in that direction. If the thought doesn't serve you, then you can just as easily say, well, if you don't serve me, then what's the point of having you? And push it aside. Or you can push it on to the next step, which is direction. And that is simply grabbing that thought that is not serving you and directing it in a way that does serve you. So when you catch yourself saying, oh, I'm so terrible, my life is never going to be better, you go, wait a minute, is there proof? No, there isn't. How does this thought serve me? Oh, this thought doesn't serve me. Okay, well, how can I add value to that thought so that it serves me better, so that it gets me closer to my values, closer to my goals? And the way to add value is to turn it into a positive thing. If you were saying, oh, my life will never be better, you could go uh, into the process of direction and go, I wonder what I need to do to make my life better or something that is productive, something that prompts action in a way that produces the results that you want, gets you closer to those goals and to those values. So that is the process of the three pillars of change, how to separate yourself from your thoughts so that you don't have to suffer through them so that you can just decide later whether those thoughts that were negative were worth having or not. And if you're not familiar with the concept of gassy thoughts, again, go back and watch that video. And if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, uh, anything, just please leave it down below. Good to see you. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.